Commissioner Rowena Guanzon's appointment was met with thorough questioning from the members of the Commission on Appointments before getting recommendations for confirmation at the plenary. Victor Cosare will tell us why. I therefore move that your committee will uh, recommend to the Commission on Appointments plenary to give its confirmation to the ad interim appointment of Commissioner Rowena Amelia Guanzon. Commissioner Rowena Guanzon's appointment in the Commission on Elections already passed the Committee on Constitutional Commissions and Offices of the Commission on Appointments. But prior to the approval, things were not that easy for Guanzon after a lawmaker posed questions on her statement of assets, liabilities, and net worth or SAL-N. Ilocos Norte 1st District Representative Rodolfo Farinas first contested the absence of currency signs on Guanzon Sal N, which prompted the committee to postpone deliberations on her appointment for her to be able to fill out the missing information in the document. When the hearing resumed, Farinas this time questioned the official's failure to submit Sal Ns when she was then appointed at the Commission on Audit and after her 10 month term ended, which is a requirement of law. It will appear now that you work in the COA for how long? Only 10 months, Your Honor. 10 months, but we do not have any sal N. Your Honor, I had a sal N, no, no, which I submitted to the Ombudsman on April 3rd. No, no. Of when you started and when you ended your term. Meron po ba kayo nun? Your Honor, I submitted to the Ombudsman on April 30 a sal N according to the civil service form as of December 31, 2012. Because I assumed office on March 18, 2013, Your Honor. Can you get a copy of the law and tell me what the law says? Because apparently we are not on the same... I'm uh, talking of Republic Act 6713. I have complied with the, the statement of assets and liabilities. I merely uh, uh, submitted a statement of assets, liabilities and net worth, but not in the form of the civil service form, but in affidavit form. Guanzon's alleged alliance with the Liberal Party was also asked in the hearing when the issue on impartiality being an official of Comelec was tackled. I read that the nominee has retired from politics completely in the year 1992. Is that correct, uh, Madam Nominee? Yes, Your Honor. That was my last uh, election. I lost to the candidate of the Liberal Party and that I did not run for office again. But after hours of discussion, Guanzon's appointment in the Comelec passed the committee level and is now being endorsed for confirmation in the plenary. Once her ad interim appointment is confirmed by the Commission on Appointments, Guanzon's term will end on February 2, 2022. Victor Cosare, reporting for Y News. Senator Lauren Legarda expressed concern on the Department of Energy's continuous operations of coal-fired power plants. Darlene Basingan tells us why. Senator Loren Legarda questioned the Department of Energy for continuously using coal, which primarily contributes to climate change. Legarda is among the advocates of banning coal in the country. DOE, however, said the shortage of power supply is one main reason why the department is compelled to endorse the use of coal to all 21 power plants in the country for the next two years. Because uh, we cannot uh, deny the reality or the fact that uh, we still need base load capacities. Yeah. And base load capacities are, uh, unfortunately, it's coal. No, because uh, our geothermal power plants and our hydroelectric power plants cannot provide the 83% base load capacity. The DOE nevertheless also expressed concern on the effects of coal fuel in the country, although 40% of the country's total power supply comes from coal. The mix of coal, the total available capacity for today actually is 40%. If there will be no uh, intervention, it will increase towards 70% by the year 2030. Aguilos added that most investors in energy generation coming into the country prefers to invest in coal power plant compared to renewable energy because coal power plants are way cheaper. As of today, DOE has an ongoing campaign among its investors to invest in renewable power plants instead of coal-fired energy. The Climate Change Commission is currently studying the effects of coal not only in climate but also on the possible price increase of coal in the coming years. Based on studies, more or less 50% of carbon dioxide emissions from coal-fired plants is one of the primary causes of global warming. Berlin Basingan reporting for Y News.